Hello, my hype besties, my homies. I just want to go ahead and talk about this new recipe that I tried. I want to thank my coworker who told me she was making stuffed chicken breast, and then I put my own little spin on it. So while you watch me make this wonderful recipe, I want to talk to you about my condition that we talked about previously in one of my shorts, which is how all of a sudden I had this autoimmune issue that I'm dealing with. I'm hoping that you guys will be able to help me and I'm able to help you with the information that I have. Back in October 12th, I ended up doing something. Basically, I'm a teacher and I wanted to make sure that I keep myself safe and with everything going on, I decided to get a medication. I don't want to talk too much about it because I heard I could possibly get flagged. But at the end of the day, what ended up happening is I was a rare case and ended up getting an allergic reaction. So I ended up going to urgent care twice to the point where I ended up having to see my PCP. They gave me prednisone, prednisone cleared everything up. They said, yep, allergic reaction. But guess what? As soon as I finished the prednisone, it would come right back again. So now moving forward, we ended up, I ended up going to a specialist. My PCP wanted me to see a rheumatologist and a dermatologist. My rheumatologist did a whole bunch of blood work and they found out, they were like, oh, vasculitis. Ended up scaring me because they were checking for all this other stuff. But after doing the blood work and I had a few biopsies, we realized that it was the allergic reaction so what would happen is I would get these flare-ups. They would look like hives at first. Then it would turn into like blisters. It scared the mess out of me. On top of that, my joints would start hurting. If you know anything about me, I used to be a basically a ballet dancer. I taught dance for years. I stayed pretty much active. So being where I could not walk, my body got weak. It scared me really, really bad. The flares got so bad that I did have to take two weeks out of work. I couldn't even stay in. So I had to take short-term disability. I, it ended up being three weeks because it failed during the Thanksgiving holiday. As a teacher, I ended up getting that week off and I needed it. Because even when I returned to work, it was rough. It tried to take the hypeness out of me, guys, and I just refused to let it. Had some of my coworkers like, can you please sit down? Because they knew after I tried to do a little happy dance, I would feel it. So after being put on a few medications, um, right now things have been a uh, pretty much um, dormant for a while. However, I am stuck with a lot of scarring. So that's why I wanted to tell my story because I know in my videos as I'm cooking, I was trying to hide my hands because I was a little embarrassed to be honest with you. And I realized this is just something that I have it is temporary. The girl is too hyped to let anything keep her down. And I am now trying to change some other things so that overall my health would be better. So I used to eat pretty healthy anyway, for the most part, but now I am taking it to the extreme as far as taking almost like 85 to 95% of gluten out of my diet. And I have seen such a big change. Anytime that I decide to eat something that has gluten in it, I will feel it, or I may have a flare up. Typically the flares are on my legs, but recently I have been getting them on my arms and a few on my face causing scarring and my hands, of course. So I love to eat, I love to cook. I want my food to taste good. So what I'm doing is trying to find the recipes that I've made before and change some of those items and look for gluten-free alternatives. So far, so good. My family has been happy. The kids are loving it. My husband's eating it. I've even cooked some of the dishes for my parents and everything's working out pretty well. But now it seems like I'm on the up and up, keeping that prayer life strong, <laughs> trying to cook a lot healthier. And I want you guys to please tell me what are some of the things that you have tried. Yes, we know medication is out there, but I'm sure I, I really feel like food is medicine and we can heal a lot of things in our body by just changing our diet. So what are some of the things that you have done? I know my rheumatologist mentioned a Mediterranean diet and gluten-free. I've opted for the gluten-free because I understood more about it 
and it was a little easier for me to change immediately. Share your story with me if you had anything remotely close to this. I would love to hear about it. Here's the dish. Doesn't it look good? That looks good. And I mean, we tore it up. It was really, really good. We ate all of it. I did pair it with some glazed carrots and cauliflower rice. Be blessed and stay hyped.